So the transfer portal madness continues, and unfortunately for the Oklahoma Sooners, they are on the receiving side this time. Because it is now known that Latrell McCutcheon, the former four-star defensive back, a top 250 player in the nation, is going to enter his name into the portal. We need to talk about what this means for Oklahoma. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes, N for no. Are you surprised that Latrell McCutcheon has entered his name into the portal? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions, those small, are massive to content creators such as myself in both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all of that being said, we need to break this down. Because the former top 250 player in the nation out of Texas has now entered his name into the transfer portal. And Latrell McCutcheon was an individual that the Oklahoma Sooners were very excited about. A cornerback that they had high hopes in. A prospect that when they ultimately won the battle for him, they were incredibly excited about because Latrell McCutcheon is a former Alabama Crimson Tide commit. However, he decommitted from the Crimson Tide and then committed to the Oklahoma Sooners. Now, ironically, after it was announced that Oklahoma was going to be targeting Jay Valai, the current Alabama cornerback coach, for the vacancy left by Roy Manning, it is now known that Latrell McCutcheon is entering his name into the transfer portal. Roy Manning was the individual who recruited Latrell McCutcheon to the Oklahoma Sooners, and with Manning not being there anymore, those relationships are always ones that are hard to continue, but for the most part, you see Oklahoma has done a good job of continuing those relationships in other areas. So, what this means for the Oklahoma Sooners? Well, there's still time in this recruiting class to go out and identify a defensive back that you would like to add in. Furthermore, Oklahoma has already proved under Brent Venables that they are perfectly willing to use the transfer portal, and you have to do so in this current landscape of college football. If top teams in the nation are going to be willing to go out and identify players in the transfer portal and bring them in, every team in the nation is going to have to do the same. Because the transfer portal offers a unique opportunity. Getting in a four-star DB, getting in a five-star DB is always great because a lot of times those dudes do pan out eventually. They may take some time adjusting to the college game, but we need to understand that's completely natural. The difference from high school football to college football in most parts is a completely different sport almost because of the speed difference, the size difference, the strength difference, and a lot of players go from being the best player in their city to being on a team of dudes just like them. But getting in these top-ranked four-stars and five-stars are fantastic. But getting somebody who is proven to have already found success on the Division I level is just something you cannot argue with. So, it's going to be interesting to see what route Brent Venables and company take. If Jay Valai is the move and they end up hiring the Alabama Crimson Tide cornerbacks coach, it's going to be interesting to see how he identifies the secondary what recruits they try and add in, and what they do through the transfer portal if they choose to go that route. However, this is a hit for the Sooners because of the upside this young man has, and it's going to be very interesting seeing where he ultimately chooses to play his college football. Many suitors will be calling if I had to take a guess, and it's going to be something we have got to keep track of. But now I'm very interested in hearing from y'all. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Are you surprised that Latrell McCutcheon has entered his name into the portal? And let me know where you ultimately think he could go. That's it. See ya.